All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Shorty Index. And Bams, the guy who got perma banned the other day, decided to release a 22 minute long video addressing the cheating concerns. Except for this video did fucking nothing to address the cheating concerns. Basically, to sum up the entire video without freaking showcasing it, he says, I didn't get caught cheating because these other two people who received a temporary ban were also banned i got a perma ban they got a temp ban but that proves that i wasn't cheating because they weren't cheating and they got bans no let's clear this up for you there bams i know you're a young guy i know you got 1.2 million subs and you think you know how bans work but temporary bans are different than perma bans their names are different one says temporary meaning that is not forever and the other one says permanent or permanent and that means that it is forever. You weren't just banned on one account, you were banned on your alt accounts as well. Now, why was that? Because the Ricochet Anti-Cheat detected something on your computer that can be deemed as cheating. Now, we don't know what that is. That could be wall hacks, an unlock tool for camos. It could be a soft aimbot. It could be aimbot. It could be ESP. It could be radar hacks. Unless you were to be honest with us, fess up and tell us, we'll never actually know. But what we do know is that Ricochet Anti-Cheat detected cheating software on your computer as a third-party device and then decided to give you a permanent ban. The other two people you were referencing that got temporary bans, Nadeshot got a voice ban because he was calling a guy on the team an asshole. The other guy also got a ban because he was also saying bad words to people. Remember, Call of Duty is all about not talking shit to each other. The game about killing each other, blowing each other up, and, you know, teabagging each other and executing people is not allowed to have bad words. So that's what the other two people got. That was the difference, bam. Then he proceeds to go on and show us his greatest moments in his career. His all time, this is why I'm not cheating. Look at how good I was way back in this game, in this game, in this game. Look at all my best moments, man. All he did was showcase his highlight reel saying, like, if I look like this back then, then there's no way I'm cheating now. But in the same video, bam, you admit that you maybe aren't as good as you used to be, which would then give you the very reason to start cheating so then you didn't fall off. Let's be honest, YouTube money is fucking pretty good, isn't it? And your little kids watching you stream gives you more because you get them to donate to you. So what would you have to lose if you started to not perform as well as you used to? A whole lot of money. So what would you do to keep that money? I know. Just get a little third party access to a device, allow that device to help you with your receding abilities and then have that pick up the slack where you're slacking and bada bing bada boom, you never get worse at the game, you only get better. Now, like I said, I didn't know who the fuck Bam was before that and, and, and his apology video or whatever the hell you want to call it was the first video I've watched. And I only watched seven minutes before. I was like, this guy ain't going to say shit. This is all bullshit. He doesn't fucking care. He made his bag. He'll buy another alternate account and he'll be carrying on with his day within a week. And I don't give a fuck about the apology tour anyway, because it doesn't mean anything. There's no repercussions for anything that these people do. Oh my God, I got permanent banned. I cannot play on my account. If only I could just go buy a different computer with my millions of dollars and then play. If only there was a super easy workaround because I make tons and tons of money off of this. Oh, I could just go buy another account. I could just go buy another PC. There's no permanent, there's no permanent anything. Until developers really fucking crack down and stop banning the account and ban the individual, we're never gonna see a change. How the fuck did Fortnite figure this out with FaZe Jarvis or whatever the hell his name was? They fucking obliterated that guy's career. You cheated in our game, fucking here's a nuke. That's all your hopes and dreams out the window. Now Jarvis isn't doing that bad anymore. He's doing just fine, but he can't do Fortnite. We need shit like that to happen with Call of Duty. Stop picking and hand choosing one or two people to, you know, make your little examples of. Fucking nuke them. Get rid of them. Make it so them cheating becomes a problem in their everyday fucking life. Hardware bans, IP bans, as well as the person ban. You know how on Twitch, you can't play with somebody who's been banned off Twitch. They can't be in your stream. They can't talk. They, you can't even do nothing with them. That's what needs to happen with uh, these, these people. This is what needs to happen with these BAMs people. He gets banned. He should not be allowed to do fucking shit with your game anymore. It's as simple as that. I don't care because everyday people like me and everybody who watches my channel, we have to go against losers like Bam. And when we die to them and we say, hey, you're cheating, they always just tell us to get good. You're just a fucking beta. They have a million ways to insult us. But when they got caught cheating, what do they do? They hide like little cowards for three days and then release a 22 minute video basically highlighting their best plays in the ever. You bet that shit's monetized. He's just cashing in a little bit more because he knows the comment section on his own video is eviscerating him. Most of them telling him, which he should know at a one 
1.2 million subscriber channel who plays Call of Duty as a fucking job, he should know the difference between a temporary Call of Duty ban and a permanent Call of Duty ban. See that or he's deliberately playing dumb. It could be that one too, right? But enough's enough, Call of Duty. We're done. Let's get this concluded. Bams. You are not going to get any sympathy from the Call of Duty community. We are over toxic fucking streamers going into our games and ruining our games for the casual everyday player. 99% of the people you go against and you shit on and you trash talk with your cheats play this game after work. When they go to work for fucking nine hours a day, come home, take care of their kids and fucking feed their family, do family time. And they get to sit down for like an hour and a half at the end of the day to play. And they go against your cheating ass. You cheat, ruin their game and then talk shit to them. You are the epitome of what's wrong with COD right now. But don't go looking for sympathy from the Call of Duty community because there isn't going to be any for you or any other cheater that is found after you. We'll forget your name in a week or two. We'll find some other way to keep making your bag. I know you're fine. None of this will fucking matter in another week. And we'll have a new target. A new person will get banned. Who wasn't cheating? Us, the Call of Duty community, is just done with it, man. We're done with not being able to play any fucking game any fucking game anymore without cheating streamers ruining the entire experience from them cheating to get their wins in their games get hype get clout to get money you make every fucking game miserable and then release a 22 minute long video basically saying i was very good before so i must not be cheating now while admitting that you have fading skill because you're getting older and you're not even that old dude i'm older than you and i'm not, I, my skills have gotten slower but not that slow not to the point where i'm like i need cheats the community of call of duty is simply done with you fucking cheaters we're over it you have whole channels on youtube now dedicated to hunting your fucking asses down you have other youtubers exposing you guys for cheating constantly you guys call them out and say that they're fucking wrong then you get a permanent ban which means ricochet detected a cheat software on your computer and you're still trying to play like we're fucking stupid you treat your audience so fucking pathetically it's not even funny you think they're all ignorant they're not they can tell just like when you faked that you were shocked you got banned you weren't fucking shocked you we're smiling and laughing because you finally got caught you'll be fine i promise you bams but your fucking 22 minute video is just a bunch of bullshit great job cashing in on your own fucking stupidity if you don't like cheaters like bam hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and as always i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video special thank you to our channel members you guys are fucking amazing we're making big things happen and as always i hope you guys all have a fantastic day and don't fall for this stupid bullshit that from these streamers if he's fucking cheating he's cheating it just doesn't matter